What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Green Bay Packers Team of the Week depth chart. And let's get a look here at the quarterback. Uh, definitely none other than Aaron Rodgers is going to be starting for us this week. Uh, we've got Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. We've got Eddie Lacy, Jacob Lacy, as I called him in some of the videos at tailback. Uh, you could substitute any of these guys in. Uh, Harris is actually probably a really explosive back with that 96 acceleration. He also has pretty good catch rating, but uh, Eddie Lacy is just a really good overall back with that 89 carry and the trucking and everything we can do with him at the backfield. Uh, also, never, don't forget power situations. You could substitute John Kuhn in. The receivers, I've got Jordy Nelson. I, I swapped James Jones and Randall Cobb. I like James Jones on the outside for that height, and I like Randall Cobb in the slot for that quickness and speed and agility. Uh, tight end, look no further than Jermichael Finley, but if he gets injured, don't forget about your boy Brandon Bostick down here. 85 speed, 72 streak, kind of a miniature Jermichael Finley. Um, left alignment the standard. Uh, no left end in the nickel psycho. No right end in the nickel psycho. Excuse me, defensive tackle, Pickett versus Raji. You can go with whoever you want. I like Pickett a little better because, first of all, defensive tackle is his natural position and also 90 tackling versus 76. And, yes, Raji has more power moves, but they have even block shedding. I think tackling is really important this season, uh, being able to wrap up that ball carrier. Left outside linebacker, we, you want to do it in this order. We got Nick Perry, Dantane Jones, and Brad, Brad Jones here. Uh, middle linebacker, we got A.J. Hawk, Brad Jones, and then these two guys don't really matter. Um, right outside linebacker, I got Clay Matthews, Brad Jones, and Nate Palmer. Uh, you could substitute uh, Datane Jones in there if you want, but I like Nate Palmer overall at that position. Defensive back, I swapped Hayward and Shields. I want Sam Shields coming off the edge and the invert to fire and the overload to seam. Hayward's really got pretty good his own coverage and tackling, and Williams is just the, the number one here. And then the free safety, I've got Morgan Burnett, 85 overall, pretty much a stud there. Uh, and then my strong safety, uh, I'm actually going to make an adjustment here. they got a bunch of good Madden gems on this team. Uh, but take a look at my man, uh, Chris Banjo, 90 speed, 71 strength, uh, good acceleration, has a 62 catch rating, and just a really good user player. He's going to be our main user guy. Not necessarily good in the hit power department, but has everything else we need for a good user player. Not really good overall abilities, but fast and strong and can tackle and can catch well. So we're going to be using him as our user player for this uh, offense and defensive scheme. So guys, be sure to stay tuned for the full gameplay coming later today in our featured video of tonight. And I can't wait to break that down. But for this week, guys, this is our Green Bay Packers depth chart and our Green Bay Packers uh, offensive playbook we're going to be using is the Indianapolis Colts playbook. And the defensive playbook we're going to be using is a nickel psycho playbook. We're using a custom playbook, so we have our audible set. You guys, be sure to check out the gameplay coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video or it helped you out in any way feel free to share it on twitter and if you guys would really i appreciate it if you guys would let some of the new guys here uh kind of help them if they have any questions uh, i'm gonna be traveling on monday so i might not be able to answer all the comments but i will try to get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching and have a great sunday afternoon